Hello everyone, this is take two for my 10 books to finish in 2021. I actually filmed another video um, almost a week ago talking through the 10 books that I wanted to finish and um, something didn't settle quite right with me after I filmed that video. I really talked about five books that I realistically planned on finishing and then five books that are kind of like my bonus books that I was thinking of. But then I got to thinking and I really felt like there is no way I'm probably even going to just finish five books. Having gone through Christmas, um, I have realized that I have burnt out on certain books that just trying to color straight through a book isn't satisfying for me. I need to have some freedom and some ability to to be um, creative and to color in whatever I want to color. So now I've kind of adjusted that and I have um, recreated what my goals are for 2021, which I may or may not go over in another video. Um, I've ordered a planner to kind of organize myself and my thoughts about what I want to do for 2021. But I'm going to do this hashtag um, and do this um, tag, but with a little bit of a twist. So first of all, I just want to thank another little piece of my art is the originating um, YouTuber that actually came up with this tag. And um, I will be linking her in the comments down below, as well as all of the books that we're about to go through. But um, I have actually decided to do something a little bit different this time. And um, what I'm going to be doing is I have decided that most of my coloring books are between 20 to 30 pages a piece. And so what I'm going to do is my goal for 10 books to complete is I'm going to assume that each coloring book is 20 pages. And so if I do 10 books per se, to make my goal for 2021 to complete 200 pages, I think that is going to be a difficult goal for me to achieve, but I also think it's not outlandishly unrealistic. So what I want to do is I want to complete 200 pages, 200 colored pages from any book. But then I'm going to keep the stack of these books to the side. And these are going to be my 10 books that I plan on kind of grabbing and coloring from. And my goal is to have at least four pages a month from this stack of books that I have here. But I can also change and adapt that too. So these are going to be in kind of like my easy to access pile so that I can just grab them quickly and color out of them because as of right now they're calling to me but um, I'm also going to leave myself some um, kind of additional leeway um, on that too. So these are the 10 books that are calling to me right now and um, that I'm going to have set aside for me. So let's get started looking through them. The first one and I think just because I'm so looking forward to not coloring Christmas for a little while Aziz and Doodle Color by Number Spring Awakening. This is by Deborah Moeller. Um, I wasn't really drawn to the front image that was on here, but I am, once I looked through this book, really drawn to the images inside of it. Um, I'll be doing a flip through of these books, but they're really, really cute. They have nice images. Um, and I got this from Book Outlet. And um, they're really, really colorful. There are... Um, really just very fun illustrations in here by Deborah Muller and they're not kind of her traditional style and so um I don't know I look forward to doing um doing a 10 out of this book Next is going to be The Color by Number Mandalas by Jade Summer. I am in a Facebook group. Um, it's called The Fun of Color by Number if you're interested in joining. And that group has chosen this book to complete for the year of 2021. Now there are 50 images inside of this book. So there is no way that this book is going to be completed for me. I would have to complete four to five pages a month out of this book. And that would burn me out. So I'm probably not going to complete it. But I at least hope to do one to two pages a month out of this book. Um, and to maybe get to the point where I'm halfway um, completed with this book by 2021. So I'm looking forward to diving in here and this will probably be my very first um, book that I work from in 2021. Sorry, I'm having to rearrange some stuff. My desk is a mess right now. Next is another Zen Doodle book. This is illustrated by Jeanette Wummel, and I absolutely love this book. Um, I've talked about it multiple times. This is the Playful Pets Color by Number book. And um, again, this also has 60 images, really, really cute um, images of mostly cats and dogs. I think actually maybe it is all cats and dogs. 
Um, but I have a couple of images colored in here, but I really want to do more. Um, I set this down to get started on Christmas coloring and I really want to come back to it. So this will definitely be happening, um, more pages from this book. Next, I wanted to pick a kind of square mosaic um, style book. Um, I don't have the Mindware Mystery Mosaic books, and so this one is very similar, though. This is by Such and Such Diva. This is the Mosaic Art Inside Home. I actually have um, some pages already colored in this book, and they're really, really cute. Um, really, really cute images. So I plan on doing some more in here and they're kind of just fun and quick and because the lines are so bold I'm actually able to use alcohol markers in here which I really love. So this will be one that gets some love this year. Okay guys you probably heard me talk about this book a ton. This is the Just Add Water Love is Like a Rainbow book. Um, I just showed this in my completed pages. I also did a flip through and review of this book. Um, it's a really wonderful book. I do this book with my son and I also kind of do it on my own. They're really quick and easy. I know this is maybe just a little bit cheating, um, per se by doing this, but also I need something to give me a mental break sometimes, um, and need something to do that's, um, a little bit mindless. So this book is perfect for that. Um, and just kind of allows me some mental freedom to kind of put color on paper, but without being too overwhelming. Another book you probably heard me talk about way too much, which is the Sun Life Drawing Christmas Mosaic book. Um, I finished probably, I think, close to a third of the pages in this book. So I have um, about two thirds of the pages left. I do really like this book. I have to put it down right now. I am way burnt out on this book. Um, even, I, it's so much to the point to where I can smell the alcohol markers um, that I use on this and it almost makes me nauseous. Um, just because, not because I actually like the smell of alcohol markers, but um, just because I, I'm just, I'm burnt out. So I need a moment away from this book. I need to separate myself, but I do love this book. This is my most colored in book in my entire collection and I will end up coming back to it. Next is a stone mosaic book. This was, um, not originally in my, um, this was not originally in my selections for completing in 2021, but I was watching another coloring channel and they mentioned this book and I was like, oh yeah, this book is so great and easy. You can really pick it up and just kind of start coloring and get a page done within an hour to two hours maximum. There's some even like this, that the stones are so big that you can really, I mean, you can probably knock that out in 30 to 45 minutes. Um, so this book is really fun. It's very unique and different to what I have in my collection and I see myself coloring a lot out of this. Next number eight, I think for me, is the Color Counts book that had the disastrous mess of a situation where I pulled off the um, glitter gel pen and it ruined the whole front cover. That was such a waste, especially since the pen is just total junk anyways. Um, but I have a page completed out of here. I really love how this turned out. Um, this is my first time coloring in these books and I just think the color combination was just beautiful on here. I don't know if all the pages are like this, but um, I really wanna work more out of this. And again, this is a different type of color by number book. Um, um, to do. So I'm excited about um, working more out of here. Number nine for me, I couldn't decide. It's between these two color Questopia books. Um, the princess book is very, very simple. Um, the images on here aren't very complex at all. Both of them you do have to fill in the lines. I don't have the black background version for either one of them, but I see myself kind of picking up this book if I want to do something just really simple um, and easy. And I love the princess theme of this book. And then of course I love penguins. And so this one has a little bit more detailed um, line work in this book. And so it'll take me a little bit longer to do it, but I see myself picking up this book because of just my love for penguins. So this is number nine. And then number 10 is to be determined. I don't have a number 10 book yet because I know I'm likely to get I have some haul on the way and I'm likely still to get some throughout the year and I want to leave myself the option to have another book to set aside if there's something that comes out this year that just really captures my attention. 
So um, with that being said, I will link all of these books down below if you're interested in any of them. And um, I want to thank you for coming um, to view my channel. Hello to all of my new subscribers that have joined me. Um, I'm really excited that you have stopped on by and um, look forward to spending more time with you. So please make sure you hit like, leave a comment for me. Let me know what books you're hoping to finish in 2021 or hoping to focus on in 2021. I respond to every comment that is made on each of my videos um, and I love interacting with you. You can also go and find me over on Instagram where if you want to see my completed pages flip throughs of many of these books um, I have over there and you can look at as well. And with that being said I will see y'all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.